Good morning, everyone! Right now on Wildberry, it is 7.52 a.m. on Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Today, we have a visitor staying at the campsite! <gasps> you guys! Oh, that's gonna be so exciting! We get to see our very first visitor at the campsite! Yes! If it's Fauna, I am going to beg Tom Nook to give me a house, a tent, anything! She can move into my house! We'll build a new wildlife research center elsewhere! But that's so exciting! Just in time for the beautiful cherry blossom season and for getting ready for Bunny Day, we're gonna have a visitor, a guest, a campsite guest on Wildberry Island. Island. Enjoying the wildlife, I hope. Go meet our guest in person and find out more about them. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. What is well now? Teach me some Sakura Blossom recipes. <laughs> all right. Well, good morning, everyone. It is bright and early today. Oh my gosh, do I ever have so much to catch you guys up on. Oh, phone is ringing. Okay, okay. Hello, this is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. We've sent a payment to your bank account for 26,288 bells for what you left in the drop-off box. Thank you for using the service. There we go. Thank you, boys. I needed that money. But all right, good morning, everyone. It is bright and early on this gorgeous Thursday morning. And as you can tell from the pile of specimens that I have right outside our door of the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center, I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Not just the specimens either. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay. Do I have like a reaction thing? I can say good morning and... Ta-da! Look at my little backpack! Look at the little backpack that I have thanks to all of the bunny day recipes we've learned! I need to catch you guys up on the fact that I spent probably three hours last night curled up on the couch next to my beloved chips blasting balloons out of the sky and it paid off because we now have more DIY recipes than you can even shake an egg at and I learned some very precious sakura blossom recipes but actually talking about the DIY recipes <gasps> leaf eggs yay Reminds me, last night, the very last thing that I did was actually lose a slingshot. So we need to actually craft a new slingshot, like, immediately. Because I have a feeling we're going to hear the balloons just, like, soaring out of the sky any second now. So let's pop back inside and grab some hardwood out of the large pile of resources that we have piled up in the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center. Which soon will hopefully look more like a nice educational center. All right, let's see where I put that. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I really had such a fantastic time with chips last night, just blasting balloons out of the sky, being able to look for eggs together, seeing how excited he is to decorate Home Island for Bunny Day. We're gonna give you guys a Home Island tour so that you can see the island that he and I are building together. And I caught several brand new specimens while I was out and about, including two specimens that Cranston actually helped me out with. This gigantic thing here and this flea. So how to catch you guys up on this? Oh, I know. I have a little clip from last night of what we were doing. So last night when I was talking to Cranston, he started saying some really weird things like itchy, itchy. And that gave me a hint that the tiny little jumping sound I was hearing when I was near him was probably one of his bug friends! So I stalked him with the net, accidentally whacked him on the head a few times with the net, and then finally managed to get the flea! The flea that was on him! And not only did I catch this here flea, which is kind of really cute in this tiny little overturned like cup, but I managed to get a second flea. Cranston got fleas not once, but twice last night, and I plucked both of them off of his head. Uh, so I love how he's always talking about the bugs that live in his floor and his walls. <laughs> and now we know what kind of bugs live in his bed. So yeah, that happened. However, we did need to get a flea in order to give it to Lathers at the museum. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then when I was searching for cherry blossoms, Cranston was hanging out by the river. And you guys, he helped me find. Okay, you guys are not ready for this. I promise you're not ready for this. I promise you're not ready for this. He helped me find a giant water bug. I found 
the thing and I still don't know if I'm ready for this. All right, let me go ahead and put that down. Also, I hear a balloon. To the slingshot maker. We need the balloon blaster. Ready, stat, to blast down balloons from the sky. Go, 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 go. All right, pekka, 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 pekka. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I hear the balloons, I hear the balloons. All right, what side of the island are they coming at this time? Oh, there it is, you guys. Oh, we almost had it. All right, right into our lap, excellent. So that was really fun, being able to catch some bugs with Cranston. I also managed to find a few other new bugs. Uh, we have right over here, the long locust. We have that beautiful butterfly that we caught together yesterday that was really fast. And I have an atlas moth. The atlas moth was really cool because he was actually hiding on one of the tree trunks that was nearby. And he's huge. You will know when you manage to find the atlas moth because he is gigantic and beautiful. So I ran up to him and I managed to find him and he looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. Isn't he just so beautiful? It looks like he has a little see-through like triangles on his wings. So we're definitely going to need to learn more about him. I've actually found several of them. They only show up late at night when you are around trees. So keep your eyes on the sides of trees late at night and you too may find this gorgeous Atlas month, moth in this month of April. And then I was fishing and I managed to find a Dory. So we have a little sturgeon fish for Dory. And I also found a crayfish, crawfish, which you can see down at the front, and this absolutely adorable little goldfish in a pond. Look how cute it is, guys. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. So as you can see, the, and look at the pot that you put it in. I love that so much. We should put a couple up in our bamboo garden. So behold, my friends, some of the brand new specimens that April has brought us. Soon we will have a proper research center in which we can talk more about these wonders of wildlife. But for now, let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh, yes, and Tommy and Timmy are going to be open now so I can sell all of this stuff. But let me go ahead and show you guys some of the other really cool things that we got set up last night. I hear a balloon. All right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Thank goodness they're not going over the plaza anymore, so you can't really lose them over the plaza. Oh, there's a praying mantis. Sorry, buddy. <gasps> it's gonna be a DIY! If the- I've learned through popping probably a hundred balloons last night, if the present that falls does not immediately turn into a sky egg, it's going to transform itself into a beautiful DIY! <gasps> and a bunny day reef, you guys! Alright, let's go ahead and learn this. A bunny day reef! Oh, I bet Chips is gonna love that for decorating our houses. Oh, it's really cute! Look at this! Earth egg, stone egg, leaf egg, wood egg, sky egg, water egg, and you can create- Oh, let's do this! Let's start our morning off on the right hip hoppity foot. I still haven't found that hip hoppity bunny guy yet, by the way. Zipper. Sir Bunny is still missing. But let's go ahead and put these all together and make a new reef and put it on our door because that is just way too cute. Oh, look at that. We should make a bunch for our villager friends and give them to our villagers tomorrow or tonight too. Oh, we have so much. To, oh, I have so much to catch you guys up on. We might have to do another double daily just so that I can fill you in on all of the fun. All right, let's go ahead and put away the bunny reef. Yay! That's adorable! Yeah, I'm really excited to decorate for Bunny Day. And I'm really excited because Chips is also ready for Bunny Day. I collected a whole bunch of eggs. Oh wow, we have a lot of sky eggs. <laughs> a lot of what I've been blasting out of the sky has been sky eggs, clearly. Alright, let's wiggle down here. I also made a wood egg lamp, which I really like a lot. You can turn it on or turn it off. It was really fun to have out last night. So I think we're going to sprinkle these eggs out to help light up the entire place at night. And my friends, last night, there was also the absolutely amazing opportunity to meet with none other than Celeste. Yes, 
Celeste. She showed up here on our home island over on the far end of the beach and I managed to talk with her at midnight no less just as I was getting ready for bed after a long afternoon and she told us about a brand new DIY recipe that I have completely fallen in love with and about the meteor shower that we had last night. It took a lot of work, but Chips and I were able to find and wish on about seven of the stars on our island here. And hopefully that means that somewhere up along the beach, there are going to be beautiful star pieces that we can put together for the very special DIY recipe that Celeste taught us. Let me see if I can find it really quickly because it's kind of amazing. As you can see, we have a lot of bunny day things. The Aries rocking chair. So we might be able to build an Aries rocking chair if Chips has a spare gold nugget. That's kind of awesome. And what's also awesome is this! Ta-da! Behold, it is our new cherry blossom viewing area where I am putting down the cherry blossom recipes that we are gathering. And it has a cute little picnic spot using the custom designs that I was able to find online. Isn't this adorable? I don't have the pile of cherry blossoms that I really want yet for its DIY. But I thought it would be a lot of fun just to put down the cherry blossom petals I have been collecting from the sky, of which we have a whole bunch now, and use them as decoration. Oh, oh, a balloon! Oh, holy heck, that might be a cherry blossom recipe, because it's not a bunny day balloon. Go, 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 go! Oh, come back here. Come back here. All right, we got it, guys. Cross your fingers for a cherry blossom recipe. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> we actually have a cherry blossom recipe. A cherry blossom clock to start the morning. Oh, I'm so excited. And also I hear another balloon. So we can't even like slow down. This is definitely gonna be a sky egg, I think. I think, yep, there's a sky egg. See, like I told you, if it falls as a present, it's probably a DIY. And if it falls as a egg, then you know exactly what it's going to be egg exactly what it's going to be. Oh, and there's a floating cherry blossom. Quick, blossom blaster. Oh, I need to upgrade blossom blaster. Oh, I just destroyed that blossom. Oh wait, no, there it is. Yay, we got it. All right, a helpful bit of advice that I have learned for catching all of these cherry blossoms, friends. If you manage to sneak up on the blossom, it is a lot easier to snag it and you want to have a better net. The flimsy net does not have as good of a catch rare, like area and ratio as a better net does. So we'll start smacking some of these rocks in just a second here. Uh, ooh. Oh, ah, he got away. Man, that dragonfly is fast. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys some of the awesome DIY recipes that fell from the sky into our laps yesterday, including the new cherry blossom clock. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it a lot just because it's a giant cherry blossom. I really love cherry blossoms. But last night I ended up collecting a ton of DIYs from islands and also from blasting balloons from the sky, like the wooden double bed, which Chips and I are going to put into our house that we have over on Home Island. Uh, we have two houses over there, but we're going to use my house as kind of like a, a, maybe like a greenhouse, probably. That sounds like me. I also learned the recycled can thumb piano because I ended up on an island that was literally nothing but trash and I caught so much trash that we managed to learn how to make trash bags, the garbage heap wall, the garbage heap floors, and recycled boots, which I'm actually not going to complain about because I felt like we were some awesome ocean cleanup crew. And I'll have to show you the really cool title that I earned from collecting that much trash. And I love the recycled boot look. Like that's probably my new favorite boots. So I will definitely show you guys where we stored those. Then we also learned from the sky. Let's see, I think 
one of I think I learned about the cardboard table from the sky. We learned about the Aries rocking chair from Celeste last night. And I learned about this bamboo wand. It's a second wand, you guys. There's the star wand and then there's the bamboo wand. And I wonder if that means you're able to have multiple things that you can actually go ahead and use to change outfits. So you could put like all of your spring outfits into the bamboo wand and then like store it in your house. And you could put all of your other kinds of outfits into the star wand. That's ridiculously exciting if that's the case. And we learned two new cherry blossom recipes that I am in love with. The cherry blossom flooring, the cherry blossom umbrella. Look at how beautiful these are. I cannot wait to make these. I also learned of a mum cushion, a cushion made out of flowers. We are completely building that as soon as I can get my hands on more mums. Right now I only have one yellow mum on the entire island and I need to fix that really badly. And then of course we have the bunny day stool, which we learned from the balloons from the sky. We also have the bunny day table, the bunny day wardrobe, which, Ch which Chips thinks is absolutely adorable. I really love the bunny day lamps because they are just so perfect to use as decoration and they help to light things up at night. We've learned the bunny day merry balloons, the festive balloons, the wall clock. We've also learned the flooring, bunny day flooring and bunny day wall that we can put inside. And I collected enough of each type of egg that we have stone egg, leaf egg, wood egg, sky egg, and water egg outfits. The only thing that we are missing for the full little egg shell, egg outfit, and egg shoes collection is getting enough earth eggs to be able to get the full set. So you unlock these three pieces of clothing for a full set after you collect something like 20 of those types of eggs, 20 or 30, I think. And earth eggs are very, very, very rare because they will only show up in spots in the ground. And I think the best way to get more earth eggs is just to go out on lots and lots of nook mile expeditions to unknown islands. Uh, and then of course we got the bunny day bag, which is really, really, really cute too. And I really want to get some more bunny day fencing made because that's really adorable as well. I wonder how many fence pieces you get with the bunny day fencing. We're gonna have to find out. <gasps> A balloon is escaping! Oh, oh my gosh, I just walked across our suspension bridge. <laughs> you guys, we have a, oh, oh, hello, butterfly. We have a suspension bridge. <laughs> I walked across it so naturally, I didn't even realize that I just used our suspension bridge. I wonder if that means our villagers could be on this side now. Oh, please tell me this is another Sakura Blossom thing. New, oh, it's a Newton's Cradle. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then there is another cherry blossom. I really need to upgrade our blossom basket. So we'll look. Nice. We'll go ahead and start looking for some of the iron pieces in just a second. And we'll go ahead and drop these cherry blossoms here. But all right, now that I have rambled on for a huge hunkin' chunk of the morning, I had so much to update you guys on. I mean, Gulliver visited last night too. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get the streaming stuff set up because we could stream for hours a day in this beautiful, beautiful wild world of Wildberry Island and still not catch up with everything. Uh, but so, it, like, I'm on the new computer now, and I'm still setting all of those things up with how busy it's all been. Alright, so, where to go first? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead, and let's put some of these things away in the house really quickly. Oh, one of the villagers gave me these rhinestone shades. <laughs> yeah, they're not kind- they're not quite my thing. But they're hilarious, so I think I'm going to keep them to give to a villager in the future. Let's put these things away. Let's go ahead and we'll check the mail really quickly because I sent all of the villagers gifts of clothing last night from the Able Sisters shop. Um, we're going to put the apples away. I store all the apples because I go over to Chips Nye's home island to sell them. And we make so much money when we do that, friends. <gasps> Our storage is full! Pardon? Uh-oh. It's time to upgrade the house, you guys. Um, our storage is full. Because we have so much stuff. Hmm. Well, we can grab some iron nuggets while we're in here. 
Um, I definitely don't need these old tires. We definitely need to take these fossils in Jim Blathers. We have a couple old star pieces in here. Uh-oh. My friends, we need more space to be able to hoard all of these items in our wonderful wild, wild biology research center. I guess we won't keep the rhinestone shades then. Let's go ahead. Newton's cradle is perfect. Oh, that's perfect for our wild biology center. All right, we'll put it at the back for now. One of these days, we will have a awesome, maybe a stream, if I can get that working again. The internet is really slow where we live right now due to how busy everybody is. Oh, and we'll go ahead. I forgot I bought a Nook Miles ticket. We'll drop it in here for later. Or maybe we'll do a fun speed build of setting up the spring, April, August, or April office. There we go of the Wild Biology Research Center. All right, let's go ahead and we'll drop the hardwood. Let's upgrade our blossom basket so that we know that it is ready to go. And then let's see. We'll go ahead and drop the clay. I guess actually we could craft the clay into something. Whoops, I picked up the giant clams. I save the giant clams because chips can do something amazing with them that I need to show you guys pretty soon. Alright, let's go ahead and craft these up. And we actually want a new blossom basket. Absolutely. All the better to catch those cherry blossoms with. <gasps> and we haven't even gone to the campsite to greet someone yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to have a busy morning. And then we can make a classic pitcher. Or we can make a nice pot. Let's go ahead and craft this nice pot. Since we need to use the clay up on something. All done. And then anything else? I can go ahead and drop the iron nuggets here for now. I can give that nice pot away. We can just go ahead and hold on to the sky egg. And let's go visit Tommy and Timmy and sell all of these things. Oh, what's going on here? Ooh, and Earn Bells by Selling Items is our five times special Nook Miles bonus today. There we go. We also need to talk to our neighbors and water some plants. I'll be happy to do all those things. And how's the mail? None of my villager friends messaged me back? Oh, my heart. I thought for sure they would like message me back, but they didn't. I don't know how to feel about that. However, we have letters from Gulliver and we have letters from Zipper. Dear Siri, here's a little gift to thank you for all your help. Okay, this is good, good, good from... There's a big rock above... <laughs> Dear Siri, here's a little gift to thank you for all your help. I'm supposed to be steering the ship right now, but I had to write this before I forgot. Anyway, I see a big rock up ahead, so I'd better wrap this up. Bye. Love, Gulliver. Thank you, Gulliver. And we have a letter from Zipper. Hippity hey, lucky old you. There's an egg festival hop hop hopping on your island right now. I've hidden eggs and eggy recipes all about. Open your peepers, find those sneakers, and enjoy this bunny day bed recipe I had cooked up. From Zipper, the lucky bunny. Oh cool, so Zipper, like, I guess he's just like hiding on our island, refusing to come out and visit with us. There's our mountain bike that we ordered yesterday. And our telescope, which is very ironic that we ordered the telescope on the day we ended up having a meteor shower. <gasps> a katana! Whoa! Thanks, Gulliver! That's really cool! Alright, so we got a katana. My uncle used to collect those, like, on a professional level. There we go. And let's go ahead and learn... The bunny day recipe bed! Or the bunny day bed recipe! There we go. Don't mind me, guys. It's very early in the morning, and we have to be zip zippity quick for our first adventure together to- <gasps> JJ! Oh my gosh! I need it. I want it. I gotta have it right now. You guys, did you see how cute it is? Did you see how cute it is? I was ready for something like a deviled egg that kind of had some blankets on it. Like, oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. This, this is something completely different. Oh my goodness. I want to see its cuteness. Where is its cuteness? <gasps> 
This is my favorite thing. It is absolutely my favorite thing. Also, I hear so many balloons. This way? Where's the balloon? There it is! <laughs> All right. Sorry, fish fish. All right, we'll go ahead and blast this balloon from the sky and I'll drop our eggs again because we have too many. <laughs> My pockets are way too full. And I think we'll go ahead and try to decorate on this area too. Unfortunately, I don't think there's enough space to put a bridge to Event Island. I really wish there was. All right, another sky egg. I'm actually gonna leave that right there and we'll come back for it. For now, it looks really cute just being there as decoration. But you guys, look at this bed! Oh my gosh, that is the most precious decoration we've had yet. I love it. Some of these I definitely kind of would smile very politely at if somebody showed them to me. And some of these I'm really in love with. All right, we'll put that down. I swear I just hear nothing but balloons. Oh, there's another balloon already. I think they're coming from the left side of the island, the east side today. We'll just leave that sky egg right over there to you. And I'll drop some sky eggs over here as well, just to be kind of cute, because we have so many of them that I figure why not use them kind of as decoration around town. But all right, now that that is taken care of, definitely want to keep the mountain bike. Let's just go ahead and place it over here for now, because why not? Pierce might really like the mountain bike, actually. All right, grab the mountain bike, turn. Uh, let's see. Can I turn you again? And push. We'll kind of make it look like it's leaning up against this tree. There we go. That looks like something Pierce would play with. Is that... Okay, that's probably just another sky egg, so we can go ahead and ignore it. I'm going to leave the katana over here. <laughs> that's so cool. I, I thought Gulliver only sent things that were actually based on hats. So that's really fun to get a katana from him. I bet that's the only way you can get a katana too. And let's go see what Tommy and Timmy are up to today. With the swinging bench being the hot item of the day, I might have to, <gasps> we might have to make a swinging bench to put under some cherry blossom trees where the villagers will be able to enjoy it. Oh my gosh, is that like a little, it's a little seance. <laughs> There's a little seance. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? The fortune telling set? We'll have to think about it, okay? I definitely- my sister will never forgive me if I don't buy that. But they're- they're really feeling a vibe here today, I think, guys. Because they're selling nothing but candles and, like, music and a fortune-telling set, which is kind of adorable. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to give them our man face stink bugs that I collected. The Atlas Moth, the Extra Flea. Uh, we'll save the pot to possibly give as a gift to someone. Let's save the spider to maybe give as a gift to somebody. I like the tadpole too. Uh, the spider's really cool, but I probably could catch another one actually. And for now, we'll sell the rhinestone shades because alas, I just don't have room for them. There you go, guys. Thank you very much. We're going to pay off the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center today, no problem. Also, what are your turnip prices? 187? Okay, we're getting into the market now. That's double the, that's about double the price we bought them for. But not yet, boys. Not yet. I want to see 400 or I'm not selling. So we're going to hold out, guys, on the stock market. I'm a little nervous because we have that glowing room of turnips. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens. But all right, so I have shown you guys all of our amazing DIY recipes. We have stumbled upon the sheer awesomeness that is the amazing bunny bed. We have managed to dash about and catch a whole bunch of recipes. I'm really, really, really glad that you guys probably are just as happy as I am with our Sakura set. Yeah, so now we might be able to actually spend a little bit of time. Let's bury some bells really quickly. Let's go visit with Tom Nook and see what he has to say, and then I think that it will be time. Let's go ahead and put this away. Grab 10,000 bells. And bury and hold. Boom! 
Then I think it'll be time to celebrate the build of our suspension bridge, search for star pieces, and visit with whoever happens to be at the campsite. There is a ton left to do today. And maybe later this afternoon, we might have a double daily episode where I might gather up some Sakura blossoms. Ah, Siri. Hello, hello. Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Siri, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check in on our guest. Tom, this is the like bossiest he's been now that he's officially out of a tent. And if you get an opening, try walking them into moving to Wildberry. The bright future of this island depends on you, Siri. I have faith in you, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, nothing even about the suspension bridge. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Uh, what should I do next? Today, we have our first guest over at the campsite. Siri. Okay, so I think he just really wants me to go talk to the guest. However, Tom, all right, let's hold the ceremony. What about for that bridge? Come on, let's go, let's go celebrate for that bridge. Let's get started. Because we built that bridge, and I, I think it's important to celebrate. We can get to both sides of the island now. <gasps> and look at the little cherry blossoms. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Wildberry's brand new bridge. Yay! Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Wildberry is developing wonderfully, yes, yes? I do hope we can continue making great strides to improve life in this precious community. I know it's been one of my true joy spots to do this every day. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing the bridge built. I'm talking about resident rep Siri. Anything to add? Um, woo! <laughs> Why not? Indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Siri. Alright, let's go ahead and celebrate the opening of the bridge. And hurry! Okay, that was really cute. <laughs> and Cranston's so happy. Cranston, it doesn't look like you're covered in fleas today. Thank goodness. There. I just really wanted to celebrate the bridge because we worked hard on that. All right. So let's go ahead and visit the campsite to have a nice morning doing that. Good, good, good. Oh, there is. Oh, there's a long locust. Can I get him? We got him! <laughs> I call it a locust. And then let's run over here. <gasps> Somebody really is at the campsite! And there's pink tulips! Pink tulips, you guys! Another successful hybrid experiment. Oh, I'm so proud. Look at these lovely tulips. All right, we've got to go ahead and give them a little bit of a watering so that we'll get them growing. Lovely hybrids, don't mind if I do. Ah, wonderful. Do we have any other hybrids over here? Oh, we have a mantis. Into the blossom basket with thee. And then let's go see who our first guest is. Do I have something cool to give them? I guess we have a homemade pot. Does that count? Hopefully that counts. I'm not sure if you can give the campsite guest gifts, but let's see what's going on here. I should make them a bunny day reef because it's going to be bunny day soon. Oh, Julius! Or Julian! Buongiorno. The name's Julian. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. I can't believe it's him. And you live on this island, don't you? I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really gonna ha enjoy having me here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Julian, what are you doing here? He has a very, um... He's got strong opinions, but he's got great fashion sense. And he really likes royal items. And I mean, he's a freaking unicorn. Glitter, this island is so great. What makes it so great? Well, I'm glad I asked myself. It's the fun and the sun, the weather and the wind, the local apples, and the hot yoga scene. It almost kind of makes me think about moving here. Um... I just wanted to talk to him. M an exclusive invitation. There's just one thing. I'd hate for it just to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with, like, the VIP manager of the whole island first? Just so I know that this is legit. Sure thing! Guten tag. My fate is in your hands. 
Okay, so you want to be really careful when you talk to the campsite guest. As cool as Julian is, I don't think we're really vibing with him. You know what I mean? I don't think we're really where he wants to be. Not in his heart of hearts. Uh, so I'll be happy to see if there's like other things you can do with them at the campsite. Like in New Leaf, you'd be able to go ahead and share, um, oh gosh, you could, you could share all sorts of really cool gifts with them. You could play games with them to earn items. And I think that would be fun. All right, let's go ahead and put the telescope down over here because I thought it'd be fun for our camp guests to be able to use the telescope. Let's see if I can pull it towards us a little. There. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun for them to be able to use the telescope and kind of look out onto the world. And I still haven't found that bunny. I don't know when we're going to be able to find Zipper. But maybe he just doesn't want to show up here. <laughs> Which is fine, just kind of peculiar. But all right, guys. So now that we have gone ahead and we have actually greeted Julian, our very first guest. Oh, and here we go. And now that we have, I mean, I love, love, love the bunny day bed. It's just so adorable. Uh, oh, and actually, let's try to catch this fish that I saw back here. Because fish that are in this river mouth are usually pretty useful. Oh, that's going to be a water egg. I know that size of fish by now. That's going to be a water egg. All right, but I want to kind of say hello to everybody. Like, where is everyone? Puddles! <gasps> Puddles! What are you wearing? Hi! How's my bestie, Splish? Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. Okay, that's kind of adorable. Um, gosh, I wonder where her little hat went. I think that's her workout outfit. I wish I had those rhinestone glasses now that we could give her. So that she had, like, a cute little workout outfit to use. Let's see. Well, <gasps> Starbeast! You guys! <gasps> it's an Aries fragment! We did end up with an Aries fragment. We need two of those in order to make the adorable Aries rocking chair. Let's see if I can find where that went. But yeah, we need two of those to make the Aries rocking chair. That's so exciting. And you know what? I think that we need to make some of the cherry blossom items that we got. And maybe the bamboo. Let's try the bamboo wand today, too. Cherry blossoms and bamboo wand to wrap up the day. <gasps> Starbeast! Yes! I needed that star fragment. And another star fragment. Oh, thank goodness. We have a few pieces. Not enough to be able to make the Aries wand. Oh, a message in a bottle. Nice. But let's search along the rest of the beach. Fingers crossed, friends. Oh, we don't need to vault over anymore. I mean, it's still going to be faster, but we have a bridge. And I want to talk to Tom Nook about a nice incline later. <gasps> yes, another Aries fragment. Oh, look, and it's a bunny day bottle. All right. So far, so good. So two Aries fragments and two Aries fragments, one star fragment. <gasps> Is this... It's a large star fragment! Yes! I need to give that to Chips because he is looking for those. And another Aries fragment. So that he can actually make a another star wand for a friend of ours, which I'm pretty excited about. I thought that was really sweet of him. Alright, so that's good, that's good, that's good. There's adorable butterflies everywhere. I love this. I still haven't seen Zipper, like, anywhere, which is really amazing to me. Let's gather up whatever earth eggs we find. Oh, that's a fossil. <laughs> I've got so many eggs on the mind that I didn't even remember that there might be fossils out and about. That's so funny. All right, how's my little patch of precious hybrid plants doing? You guys need to propagate, please. And then speaking of propagating, these mums, oh, we have an orange, yes, 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 yes. We have another orange hyacinth right over here, guys. Fantastic. That's a hybrid too. And these are our mums, and I really wish they would think about making more mums, but they just are very stubborn about that. All right, I think that that's actually going to, yep, let us get Nook Miles for watering all of the plants. Excellent. So Julian as our very first guest, huh? I gotta think about how I feel about that. 
Also, is that... That's a bunny day egg. So most likely this is not going to be the egg that we actually... Like an, a DIY recipe? Yeah, that's a sky egg. We'll go ahead and leave it there for now. Because we know what that is going to turn into. But alright, how to wrap up our morning now that we have gone ahead we have met Julian, we have put out a couple really cute items on the island. Let's catch you. Oh, we'll have, some, we'll have to do all of our donations later too. But what is the coolest thing I think we could do for really making our morning special? Hmm. I think it's making that bamboo wand. I think it's a combination of... Is that another? I, I think that the egg balloons actually move faster too. Huh. Are you gonna come over here? Oh my gosh. How is this thing avoiding me? Okay, we got it. <laughs> We're leaving little eggs around as decorations everywhere, which I love. Cranston, good morning! How are you doing today, buddy? Hi, it's me, Cranston. I love long walks. They keep you f your feet entertained. Cranston, let's give him one of the bugs, because he loves bugs. Do you want this? What are you giving me? Yesterday you gave us so many fleas. Thank you, Cranston. So how about a mantis? Whoa, is this really a mantis? Did you catch it yourself? Thanks, I can't wait to introduce her to the other bugs in my house. Well, to the bugs on the floor. The bugs in my walls are being jerks this week. Here, man, a work shirt. Enjoy, sweatband. <laughs> Thank you, Cranston. I really think giving Cranston a bug every single day should be one of our life goals, guys. Oh my gosh, that's a really cute work shirt. Okay, so we have star fragments, we have large fragment, airy fragment. Oh, he's doing some yoga, so that is their- <gasps> They're both doing yoga together! That is their little workout outfit. That is so cute. Alright, we'll go make the bamboo wand now. Oh, there's some cool ponchos that are going to be for sale at the Able Sisters today. And let's also make the Sakura Blossom umbrella. Because that looks amazing. Let's see. And we'll open these up really quickly to see what the message in a bottle is. To whoever found this, I thought of this DIY recipe while letting loose during dance practice. It's too good to keep to myself, so I threw it in this bottle to share. Show it off once you're done. From Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy's so sassy. <gasps> Chrissy, I love you! You guys, we just learned how to make a rose crown! Are you kidding me? I love the flower crowns. Like, I unreasonably love the flower crowns, but why did she have a... Of course. Of course. Mm. I have to have a contemplative sip of my tea. It's Chrissy, who is one of the sassiest of all of the villagers I've ever met. So, of course, she wants the rare hybrids in order to make her crown. But that's okay, because it gives us a really nice goal for the future. Being able to have beautiful hybrid gardens growing on a wild berry is definitely amongst the things I want to do. And then let's open up the egg message bottle. And what will it make? It's a hippity skippity mystery. Gather eggs to craft it up and see. Yours truly, the lucky bunny. Oh, I think we already learned the reef. I can give it to chips. Yes. All right, guys. Very excited. Let's go ahead and grab what we need in order to craft up the... In order to craft up the bamboo wand, I'll put away the Aries fragments. If there's, okay, oh my gosh, there's no room at the inn. <laughs> We're gonna have to handle that because that's, that's a little bit bad. We shouldn't have run out of storage room. Uh, but we'll grab what we need in order to craft the bamboo wand and in order to craft the beautiful cherry blossom umbrella. And then I will show you guys something very unique indeed that I managed to get last night to celebrate cherry blossom season. I feel like this morning was really dedicated to gathering up eggs and just kind of celebrating the island growing and thriving since Julian has arrived. We need to make the campsite look nicer. 
But I think this afternoon we'll dedicate to sprucing up the island and to um, seeing what all the cherry blossom recipes are. So we need, let's see, one more star fragment, six pieces of young spring bamboo, and then just cherry blossom puddles. So let's see what we've got. I have more star fragments, thank you. Just two, it's very hard to get star fragments. And then we need the young bamboo. So six pieces of young bamboo. So one more than this. We'll go ahead and harvest the last piece fresh from the bamboo on the island. So much to do before Wildberry will really be able to like be organized. <laughs> we just have so much going on everywhere. All right, let's pop over here and get a fresh piece of young bamboo. All right, not there. There we go. Young spring bamboo is actually a limited time seasonal item, so you want to make sure that you gather as much of the young spring bamboo as possible early on. All right, let's go ahead and jump. And now, let's try this out. Okay, very excited. What the heck is this bamboo wand? We're gonna craft that. Ta-da! And then let's go grab some cherry blossoms and craft. I love this bed! It's so cool, it's so cool, it's so cool. Is that enough cherry blossom petals? Not yet. What about, okay, we'll grab these ones and drop these ones. I love decorating like that. It's just so cute. This is so fun. I love collecting everything. All right, let's do this. Cherry blossom umbrella. Probably my new favorite item. Ta-da! Oh, I definitely have to give these to all the villagers so that they will walk around with cherry blossom umbrellas because they're just so cute. But we need to make sure we can craft all of the other cherry blossom items first. The bamboo one looks just like the star one. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna transform and I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, let's go down to a good place to do this so it, it has great visual effects. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna show you guys our new kimono outfit. Ta-da! Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. This is actually the adorable little Tori shoes that are Zori shoes that we managed to get from the Able Sisters yesterday. I got the blue pair to match with this gorgeous kimono that I found online. We actually have a scenic, I can't believe how beautiful that is. We have like the scenic cherry blossom floating behind us. I should have taken a picture. Oh, it's so cute. Look at us. This is absolutely adorable. But I love this kimono so much. I found it online. I'm gonna have to look up the name of the artist again. But what we did was we imported the QR or the, the code for the design into the Able Sisters shop and we were able to get this beautiful result. I love it so much. We even have the little Tori shoes on too. Okay, and we've got like two balloons in the sky at the same time. What the heck? Fine, fine, you guys wanna be like that? You want to make me run around because you know I can't resist? Smacka. Oh! We lost it! Balloon down, or egg down! That's why we have to pick up all the weeds, actually. Because otherwise there won't be anywhere for these to land. <laughs> oh, and now there's just so many beautiful butterflies and cherry blossoms out and about. Isn't this just magical? I love watching the cherry blossoms. Ah, there we go. I love watching the cherry blossoms just float through the air. But all right, so let's carry on with our experiment really quickly to wrap up a nice morning. I'm very excited that the campsite is up and going. I love the egg bed. It's absolutely adorable. So let's see what it looks like when we are holding. <gasps> I love this so much and finally bamboo one 
Oh, it has the exact same outfits. I am so glad to know that now, you guys. So, interesting. You can make new ones, but they're going to have the exact same outfits. So there's no point in making multiple ones, just the one you really want. Dun, 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 dun. Now we have solved even more of a mystery. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It has been such a wonderful morning. We still have so much to do. Uh, I'm going to actually change out of my wand or of my wand outfit really quickly. There we go. I guess that means I can give my star wand away to somebody. We have so much more to do to gather up enough eggs to be able to make cute decorations to share it with the entire village, to try to, you know, spruce up Wildberry so it doesn't look quite so woebegone with all of my stuff sprinkled everywhere. I want to fancy up the campsite. I'm not sure. I don't think I want Julian to move in. As, as cool as Julian is, I really just don't think we... Oh, we have a double sofa now. I don't think we're his vibe. And we're going to need to start actually cleaning the Wildlife Research Center so that we'll be able to have room to put more things in it. So, there's a lot coming up. A lot to do. And I can't wait to share the adventures with you guys. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Wildberry and its wild, wild adventures. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, search for beautiful butterflies, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye